Welcome to part 8. We last stopped at dot slots. Now let's make the tower customers. Select your tower dot and create new custom. Call it towers. Create new numbers attribute. Call it price in game double quotes dot grade, always simple. Initial value, whatever you want dot max value, as many nines as possible. Another numbers attribute. Name price, initial value also whatever you want. Create new true, false, attribute. Name tower bound, initial value of. Initial value means how it will dot always be at the beginning. For example, you now have the globally variable money karma dot enter the initial value to 50 karma dot. Then your money will always be the number karma dot you entered in initial value. For example, you enter the number 50. Then you get, so to speak, 50 money in game. Name defense, initial value of. Create when events trigger. Trigger. I show how to make this. Trigger once off. Choose the Invisible Wooden Knight from Part 7. If it's too fast, then reduce the video speed. Select the transparent button dot, also from part 7. Save it. Go back to this script. Oops, error dot 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 swap the texts.
now by system. Create when object is created, trigger. I show how to make this. Now comes something important again. Copy the one slot next to each other. Number all the slots in order until the end of your slot. Now the shop. Let's fix it. Pricing game means dot how much it will cost to place. And price means dot how much it will cost to buy. Now transfer the slots from the lobby dot to game UI and shop UI. But don't forget also dot to number the slots. Thanks for watching. In part 9, I try to show you dot how to make skip wave system. But don't forget to like and subscribe.